Yours me your boy, Shonen Boy, here today, I'm here today to do a One Piece tier list on all of Luffy's fights. Um, we're going to be going over every single fight that Luffy's been in. Um, now, I've tried my best to, um, you know, get as um, all the fights um, that Luffy has actually, like, fought the actual character in, because there's a lot of fights. Like, Luffy has been in a lot of fights, and um, some of them are, like, encounters that he has with certain characters. Characters, and then there's fights. Um, now, I've tried to make the list, um, you know, actual fights that he actually has one on one fights with, um, but I've tried to make, I've tried my best, but, um, you know, if I forget anyone, um, please let me know in the comment section down below. And how would you do this uh, tier list? Um, now, this is all of Luffy's, uh, I guess, villains that he's uh, fought over the uh, years um, in uh, One Piece, and uh, there's a lot. There's a lot, so uh, strap yourselves in. It's a, gonna be a, a you know long video. So yeah, so let's get straight into this. So the first fight that Luffy has in the series is Alvida. Alvida versus Luffy is the first fight, and Luffy defeats her pretty easily. Like it's no big deal. Like um you know Luffy does one gumma gumma no punch, and she's done. Like she is out of the like she's out of the park. Um so honestly the fight. I don't really care for it. Honestly, I don't really care. Um, it's not the best fight in the series. Um, it's a, it's like the first fight, and uh, Luffy just K um, KOs her in like one punch. So like, it's not a big deal. Um, the next fight is Axham Morgan. Axham Morgan. This is the first um, the, like um, time we get to you know um, see Zoro, and uh, you know, and we get to find out about his uh, character and everything like that, and uh, you know. Seeing Zoro for the first time is always cool. I like his, uh, you know, the theme song, the, you know, the guitar that, um, that, that, you know, he has, um, and he's, uh, and his, uh, you know, little story in that town that, you know, Luffy found him in, and, uh, you know, I mean, him and Zoro teaming up to fight Axham Morgan was pretty cool. I like that. So, uh, I'm gonna give it a good solid C. I like it, because, you know, we got the introduction of, uh, Zoro, and, uh, and they both teamed up for the first time, and Luffy got his first crewmate, you know, it, it was cool. So, I'm gonna give it a good solid C. It was alright. Buggy. Now, Buggy versus Luffy. Now, this is the fight that was really, you know, something. It was actually, like, funny. Um, you know, Buggy was actually, like, not, um, um, not, like, terrifying, but he was actually a threat back in the day because he was the first one of a Del, I mean, the first one to have a Delfruit that Luffy, like, fought. And, uh, his, you know, Delfruit was interesting. It was, uh, you know, cool. Um, it's, a uh, you know, I love Buggy. Buggy is a great character. He always shows up, and I, you know, love him whenever he shows up. And I really do hope that, like, Luffy and him do have a, an encounter. Um, not really a fight, because, um, you know, Luffy is way, 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 way stronger than, you know, um, Buggy right now. But, like, maybe Buggy was holding back all this time. We don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. But, um... Honestly, the first encounter, I would probably put it at maybe a B. Because the first encounter, that fight was, you know, was good. I enjoyed the fight. It wasn't anything too spectacular, but it was pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to give it a good solid B. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kuro. Kuro is trash. That fight was boring. Like, seriously, Kuro is one of the most boring villains that Luffy has ever fought. Or, um, like, boring villain, honestly. Um, I don't care about him. His whole plot um, to steal Kaya's money was boring. Like, honestly, like, this, um, like, this villain? Nah. Captain Kuro? Nah. Uh, moving on. Uh, Don Krieg. Don Krieg was alright. Like, honestly, like, his fight with Don Krieg was not too bad. I'd give it a good solid C. It wasn't bad, but, like, you know, um, this was before we got introduced to, like, you know, um, you know, anything too big. Like, I um, you know, really over-the-top Del Fruits or, like, really powerful Haki or anything like that. And, uh, this is also when, you know, Mihawk, uh, stepped in, but Luffy didn't fight Mihawk. That was Zoro. But, uh, yeah. But, honestly, I would probably give it a good solid C. Don Creep was 
alright. He wasn't an, a very interesting villain, but, like, he was okay, you know. He was better than, you know, Kuro, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, Arlong. Arlong is a straight-up A. Uh, and a good, solid fight. I love Arlong versus Luffy. Um, it's, you know, still one of my favorite fights in the series. And uh, this is when I actually got into One Piece. Because at the end of the East Blue Saga, when Luffy fought, uh, you know, Arlong, it is a very, you know, good, built-up fight. Um, and it's really built up over the, um, you know, the all the uh, arcs, like in East Blue, it's built up that Luffy's going to fight Arlong. And, uh, you know, and also, you know, Nami's backstory, you know, adds on to that. And, you know, and her pain and everything like that and her struggle and her like you know and all the you know stuff that she went through um and Luffy's standing up for, you know, his uh Nakama, his uh, you know, for Nami and you know and defeating um, you know, Arlong and her I mean you know, her her worst enemy um was very special. And I honestly, you know, think that it's still one of the best fights, honestly, in in One Piece. It, yeah, I know it's not S tier, but I would give it a good solid A. There's been a lot of um you know better fights than you know Arlong, but it did get me into the uh series. So uh, yeah. The next one is uh, Smoker. Now, Smoker versus Luffy wasn't really a fight because uh, Smoker, you know, demolished Luffy. Luffy didn't, you know, he couldn't do anything to Smoker. Like, honestly, he would have lost that battle if, uh, you know, um, Dragon didn't come and, like, stopped Smoker. But, like, yeah, Luffy had no way of dealing with Smoker, um, you know, up until, I want to say, the time skip? Because even at Marineford, um, you know, Luffy still had trouble with Smoker because of his low gear fruit. And, um, you know, where is Smoker? Like, seriously, I haven't seen Smoker since, um, I want to say, um, since Caesar. Like, uh, since, uh, uh, um, you know, um... Uh, what is that? I can't... Punk Hazard. Yeah, Punk Hazard. Um, I haven't seen Smoker since Punk Hazard. Where has he been? What has he been doing? I hope he's been, uh, training because, uh, you know, when he came back, um, in the, you know, two, um, after the two-year time skip, he was pretty, like, eh, pretty crap, honestly. Um, he fought Virgo and got the ship pushed in, but, like... You know, I kind of want him to you know, show up again. Hopefully he shows up. Maybe Oda forgot about him. Who knows? But like, <laughs> um, but Luffy versus Smoker, I'd give it a good solid um, C. Like, like if Luffy didn't, um, you know, get saved by Dragon, he would have lost the fight. And, uh, you know, but I would probably give it a good solid C because we didn't really get much of the fight. You know, and this is just purely fights. Like, we're not, not, we're not, um, we're not going over, like, the character or anything like that. We're just purely basing this on the fight. And this is my own opinion about the, uh, fights. So, uh, yeah. And if I was, like, engaged. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, moving on, uh, Mr. 3 versus Luffy, don't really care, honestly. Um, you know, um, Little Garden was good, but it wasn't really, like, um... Like, the fight wasn't really that big of a deal, um, in Little Garden, honestly, when it came, um, when it comes to, like, you know, um, you know, fighting Mr. 3. You know what I'm saying? And Mr. 3, like... He's a whatever character, honestly. I don't really care about him. Um, he's, you know, with Buggy now. And I don't think we're ever going to really get much of Mr. 3. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Wapple. Wapple versus Luffy was fun. And, you know, and, you know, kind of zany. But honestly, trash. Like, honestly... I don't really care for Wapple. Wapple, honestly, has become a very important character because he's, like, seen the, uh, you know, the Gorosei and what they look like, which is, like, bruh. Like, he's seen some shit, you know what I'm saying? And now we know what the Gorosei look like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I don't think Wapple's gonna be anything too interesting going forward. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe he's gonna tell Big News Morgans what the, you know, the the Gorosei look like, um, I guess, maybe, who knows, but, like, yeah, but the Luffy versus, um, Luffy versus, uh, you know, Wapple, nah, it's pretty shit, honestly, um, moving on, Crocodile, Crocodile versus Luffy, 
I would say it's probably S tier. Like, I still love Crocodile versus Luffy. It was built up. Um, you know, Luffy had to fight him. I was like, it, 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 I think it was like three times. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was like three or four times. And like, he, um, he lost to Crocodile every single time, except for the very last encounter where they, where he was like, you know, got all that blood all over him and he was using his, uh, blood to punch, uh, you know, Crocodile. And I loved, you know, Luffy versus Crocodile. It was such a great fight. I loved it. So, yeah, I'd probably put it in S tier. I like it still, yeah. Uh, moving on, um, Bellamia versus Luffy. So Bellamia, um, Luffy, you know, one punched him, and it was a pretty, you know, you know, cool one punch. Honestly, um, you know, Bellamia is a cool character. I like him. He's in the Grand Fleet. I've got Bellamia twice because Bellamia fights, um, Bellamia fights Luffy, uh, you know, twice, and you know. And, uh, you know, he doesn't do very good, um, you know, at, you know, fighting Luffy the first time. So, I probably give him a good solid C. He doesn't do a very good job. He gets, you know, one-punched and, like, you know, he goes down and he's just like, you know. Um, but it was, you know, it was alright. Uh, moving on, uh, you know, Eneru versus Luffy. Now, honestly... I would probably put this in an A because I still like Anaru as a character. A lot of people want Anaru to come back, and me too. I want Anaru to come back a little bit. It would be pretty cool. Um, but honestly, um, I don't really know what uh, purpose he would have if Anaru would come back into the story because Luffy has surpassed Anaru. Like, I uh, make no. He's you know really gap. Anaru, like he is so far um, beyond uh, Anaru that like he is not even a threat. Unless Anaru, um, you know, comes back with like I don't know, Conqueror's Haki or some shit like that, then like yeah, nah, Luffy is way stronger than Anaru, and like him coming back into the series, like what can he really do against all the people that we, um, you know, that we've established in the final saga of One Piece? You know what I'm saying? Like he can't really do anything, so. I don't know if Anaru is going to really come back to the series. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we'll get, a, we'll get an update about Anaru and see what he's going to be doing next. But we'll have to wait and see. But who knows? But uh, yeah. But when, when it comes to Luffy versus Anaru, um, I'd probably give it a good solid A. I like the fight. So uh, yeah. Um, Foxy versus uh, Luffy. <clears throat> um, honestly, yeah. I would probably you know, put it in trash, honestly, I don't like Foxy, I don't think anyone really likes Foxy in that arc, um, but I probably, like, just put it in trash, because, like, you know, it was funny, but, like, eh, who cares, um, moving on, um, Usopp, Usopp versus Luffy, I would give it a good solid B, I really do like, uh, you know, Usopp versus Luffy, it was a really, you know, good fight, um, you know, Usopp, you know, didn't, you know, stand a chance, but at the same time, he held his ground. He held his ground against Luffy. He pulled out all the stops, and it was really good, honestly. I really like, uh, you know, Usopp versus Luffy. It had, you know, it had stakes, like, it had, like, um, you know, it had meaning behind it, and I really enjoyed the fight. So, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, so Luffy versus Bluno. The, this is where we first, uh, you know, get introduced to uh, Gear Second, and uh, Luffy mops the floor with this guy. Like honestly, he mops the floor. Um, so honestly, just the, just the reveal of Gear Second and him mopping the floor with Bluno, I'd give it a good solid B. Honestly, it was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, Luchi. Now Luchi, honestly. S tier. I really enjoy Luffy versus Luchi um, in Water 7. It was one of the best fights in Water 7, and I loved it to death. And it's still, I still remember that, you know, at, at the final end when uh, Luffy was about to fall, and he, you know, I mean, he gets, I mean, he, you know, 
gets back up and uh, he, you know, screams and he just, you know, goes at Lucci and he does the Gummo Gummo No um, Gatlin and he just goes all out against, you know, Lucci and he defeats Lucci and saves Robin and it was just such a, you know, good fight. Like, honestly, I love Lucci versus, uh, you know, Lu Luffy. It's such a good fight and I also, um, you know, um, you know, like Lucci. He's a great character and I like him. So, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, so, um, Moria, Moria versus Luffy, uh, don't care, like, honestly, this fight was boring as hell, the only time that, um, Luffy versus Moria was interesting was when Moria was in, uh, Oars, um, that was the only part where that was interesting, other than that, it was kind of boring, honestly, I don't really care for it, um, but, like, that arc was not very good in my opinion, honestly, you know, it was like, eh, and the fight was, you know, kind of meh, so, uh, yeah, um, moving on, so the next fight is, uh, Kuma, so Kuma, um, Kuma versus Luffy, um, uh, was in, uh, Sab Odi, and, uh, you know, Kuma, he didn't really fight Luffy, it wasn't really a one-on-one, -on -one. um, you know, Kuma was trying to, uh, save Luffy, um, from, uh, Kizuru, and all the, uh, you know, all the Marines that were trying to capture him on Sab Odi, because, you know, Luffy punched a Celestial Dragon, and, uh, you know, Kuma, um, you know, even though Luffy, uh, didn't know that Kuma was trying to save him, um, he, uh, lost that, uh, you know, that fight between, uh, you know, Kuma, um, he tried his, uh, very best, uh, to, uh, fight Kuma, but, uh, he lost his, uh, crew, and he, uh, lost to, uh, you know, Kuma, and, uh, you know, Kuma had a pretty, you know, powerful devil fruit, honestly, and, uh, Luffy, you know, didn't know Haki at that particular point in time, and, uh, it was really hard to fight, you know, Kuma, and, uh, you know, he, you know, tried his best, but he didn't really do um, you know, that very well against, you know, Kuma, and the fight was, you know, interesting, um, because, you know, it was, um, you know, um, he, um, you know, Kuma was trying to, like, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, poof away all of his, uh, crewmates, and, uh, you know, and Luffy didn't really know what was happening to them, he honestly, I don't think he, you know, thinks that, that his crew was, you know, um, you know, killing them, I mean, uh, Kuma was killing them, but, like, he was, like, very shocked about, you know, uh, when Kuma slapped them away, and he was like, you no, know, what happened to them, where did my crew go, what happened to them, so, uh, you know, it, the fight was, you know, pretty interesting, and I really enjoyed it, so, uh, yeah, so i probably give it a good solid B, um, I enjoyed the fight, and it was interesting, but, uh, you know, um, but it wasn't a really, um, you know, a one-on-one -on -one fight, and, uh, Luffy didn't really stand much of a chance against, you know, Kuma, honestly, so, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, so, um, Magellan, Magellan versus Luffy, I would give a good solid, um, I want to say, A. I really like uh, the fight between Magellan and Luffy um, because you know Luffy stood no chance to Magellan right um, um, you know um, when he was in uh, in pull down um, he you know tried his best um, but he got you know severely poisoned and if uh, you know um, if Van Gogh wasn't there uh, he would have died like straight up would have died um, and honestly that would have been the end of One Piece <laughs> so yeah so I uh, don't you know don't um, sleep on, um, you know, Magellan, he is a very strong, you know, character, and, um, you know, and he is even sometimes in the top 30 of, like, the strongest characters of One Piece, um, but, like, you know, he's still pretty strong, honestly, and, uh, his Delfruit is cracked. Like, his Del Fruit is cracked OP. And, like, if you, um, if you don't have an antidote, or if you, um, you know, don't have a way of, like, combating his, uh, poison, you're fucked. So, uh, yeah. So, um, Magellan is, uh, very scary. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I'd probably put the fight at a, probably, uh, an A. I like it. So, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, Horty versus, um, you know, Luffy, um, now, yes, I know Luffy went to Marine Fort after that, um, but he has a lot of fights in Marine Fort, so I didn't really, you know, um, you know, 
um, put any people um, from Marine Fort in this tier list because um, he fights a lot of people in Marine Fort. And if we had the people in Marine Fort, we'd be here all day. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So, I just kind of skipped over Marine Fort because, like, he fights the admirals and everything like that. And, like, honestly, um, you know, it wasn't really a one on one fight that Luffy had with the uh, admirals. Um, the only one that he had a one on one fight with is actually, like, Kizuru. Um, but, uh, you know. But honestly, yeah, he didn't have, like, um, he didn't really fight any one of, um, um, in, uh, Marine Fort, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, moving on, um, uh, Horty. Horty versus Luffy. Honestly, yeah, don't, I don't really care about it, honestly. It's kind of a meh fight. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, Luffy, you know, floored this dude. He wasn't really that big of a deal, honestly. Um, you know, Luffy came out of the, t um, you know, two-year time skip, um, with, uh, you know, with Haki and everything like that. And if Luffy, you know, went gear forth, um, he would have, like, flattened this dude. So, uh, yeah. So, Horty, honestly, eh. And Horty's character was kind of eh, too. So, yeah, I don't really like, um, you know, the fight between Horty, so what? It's whatever. Um, the same thing goes with like Caesar. Honestly, I don't really care about Caesar's fight with Luffy. It was kind of just like, eh. Um, Luffy defeated Caesar pretty easily. Honestly, um, you know the only reason that Luffy had any trouble with Caesar is because of his Delfruit. Um, you know, and Luffy had you know hockey and everything like that, and he could you know fight you know Caesar, but it was only because Caesar had a you know a very unique Delfruit, and Luffy's never really you know fought um, you know Caesar before, and you know Caesar you know was very calculate, and he was very and he had like he knew how to like you know sort of manipulate his Delfruit fruit into unique ways and he was you know you you're manipulating his del fruit with all the gases and everything like that so it was very hard for luffy to fight you know caesar um you know one-on-one -on -one. but he did he did defeat caesar eventually so uh, yeah um but honestly yeah i don't really care about the fight so yeah um, moving on, uh, this is, uh, Balamir when he was, uh, in Dressrosa. Um, honestly, I probably put it in maybe, uh, B? Yeah, probably a B. I like, uh, you know, Balamir in Dressrosa. Um, you know, even though, uh, Balamir versus Luffy, you know, went a little bit long, um, in the, uh, anime, it went for a very, very long time in the anime. But like, um, but the fight was, uh, you know, significant. Like it had, um, it had a point to it, and like, um, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, Doflamingo was, uh, you know, manipulating him and everything like that. So, uh, yeah. So honestly, I think that it's a probably about a B. Honestly, I like the fight, but like I do admit that it was going on for a while in the, uh, you know, in the anime and also in the uh, manga. So uh, yeah. Um, Dolphamingo versus Luffy. Now, this fight, honestly, I probably put it in an A, because I like the fight, but at the same time, it went for a very, very long time in the uh, anime, and the anime did not do this fight justice, honestly. The only time that this fight was, you know, um, was good, um, was when Luffy went into gear fourth, and, uh, that was the only time that the fight was actually, you know, cool in the, uh, anime. In the manga, it was okay, it was whatever, but in the anime, it sucked, because, uh, you know, the animation was not that very good even back i mean even if you go back i mean today um the animation sucks um it was only good when it was in gear fourth and uh yeah and the fight went on for ages in the anime. Like, if you, um, if you remember back in, um, when you, if you were watching, you know, Dressrosa week to week, because I was, I was watching Dressrosa week to week, and it was just painful. Um, you know, I mean, waiting for Luffy to defeat Doflamingo and watching, um, you know, them recap, uh, you know, um, you know, episode after episode about, you know, Luffy versus Doflamingo, and I was just like, can we just get on with the fight already? So, uh, yeah, so honestly, I like it, but at the same time, they dragged it out a lot, so uh, I probably put it in an A, so, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, Cracker versus Luffy. I would probably put this in a good solid B. 
I like, um, you know, the Cracker versus Luffy. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, interesting. Um, you know, Cracker had a very unique Delfruit, and, uh, you know, Nami helping out Luffy, um, you know, making the biscuits wet and everything like that, and, uh, you know, him using his gear forth to punch, uh, you know, the biscuits, and, you know, him defeating Cracker. It was pretty cool. I liked it. I'd give it a good solid B. Yeah, I like it. Um, Big Mom versus Luffy, honestly, it wasn't really a fight, um, Luffy was running away half the time, and, um, and... I don't really like it how, um, you know, Luffy went into Gear 4 and, like, um, sh um, he, like, punched Big Mom and, like, she was just, like, ugh, like, you know, it didn't really affect her. And I was like, this is just strongest form right now, like, Gear 4 and you punched a Big Mom with one of your attacks in Gear 4 and Big Mom didn't really flinch or say anything. And it was just, like, she just ate that. And I was just like, bro. So, uh, yeah. So, honestly, yeah, i probably give it a good solid B. Um, it wasn't the best fight. Luffy was running away most of the time, and it was just kind of like, eh. Um, hopefully, um, you know, Luffy can redeem himself, and he can fight, you know, Big Mom one-on-one, -on -one, and, uh, you know, and Luffy can defeat Big Mom with, you know, Gear 5, and that would be really cool. And, um, you know, and Luffy did say, um, you know, I'm going to fight you next after I defeat, you know, Kaido. And uh, I, um, I do um, think that Big Mom will come back, maybe, who knows. But at the same time, I don't really want her to come back. Um, you know, but if she does come back, um, I do want Luffy to fight Big Mom again and, uh, and defeat Big Mom in his Gear 5. That'd be really cool. So, uh, yeah. Um, moving on. Katakuri versus uh, Luffy is still one of the best fights in One Piece. I will say that right now. Um, Luffy versus Katakuri is still one of the best fights in One Piece. I love it. And uh, yes, the anime did drag it out a lot. Like, a lot. But, like, it was still pretty good. I still love Katakuri, um, you know, versus Luffy, and Katakuri is, you know, one of my favorite characters, and, uh, you know, I really enjoyed this, uh, fight, so, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that fight, so, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, uh, Kaido. Kaido versus Luffy, um, I would probably put it an S, yeah, S, yeah, S tier, yeah, I, I think that, you know, Kaido versus Luffy, um, you know, it had that build up, it had that, you know, it had that stakes, it had that, you know, I mean, it had the, uh, arc that was building up to this fight, that was, you know, it was like building up to Luffy versus, um, you know, Kaido, uh, for so many, you know, years, and it, and it took forever for Luffy to actually defeat Kaido and put him down for good, um, you know, it was a long, you know, sort of arc, you know, Wano, the longest arc in, you know, One Piece, and, you know, and Luffy finally defeating, you know, Kaido, and him, you know, going through all the, uh, you know, training, and, uh, you know, and transformations, and everything like that, to defeat Kaido, and yes, Kaido's backstory wasn't the best, but like, eh, who cares, but honestly, Kaido versus Luffy, S tier, and if you if you if we're talking about the anime, bruh, the anime is next level. Like the animation and art for you know Luffy versus Kaido in the Wano arc was like next level. It was so good. So uh, yeah, I'd give it a good solid S tier. So uh, yeah. Um, moving on, so Luffy versus Luchi in his, uh, you know, awakened leopard form. I would honestly give this a good solid A. Um, I enjoyed the fight at Egghead when it comes to Luffy versus, uh, Luchi. Um, you know, Luffy destroyed Luchi, like, destroyed him. Uh, Luchi did not stand a chance against Luffy and Gear 5. Like, he slapped him around a little bit, honestly. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, 
and um, in the anime, this fight is happening. Like, this fight is happening this week. Mark your calendars, because this fight is going to be so sick in the anime. I've heard a lot of things on, like, Twitter and, like, Instagram about how this fight is going to be really good in the uh, anime. And if the anime, you know, makes this fight really good, it might, you know, go up to a S rank. But so, um, but so far, um, right now, it's an A rank. Um, so, uh, yeah. And the last two fights is the two current fights that Luffy is doing in Air Kit Island. Uh, Luffy versus Kizaru and Luffy versus, uh, you know, Saint Saturn. So, honestly, Luffy versus Kizaru, um, it was probably good solid A. Um, we'll have to see how it's done in the anime. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be really good in the anime as well. Um, Luffy versus Kizaru. But, honestly... Um, from what I've read, when it comes to the manga, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I enjoyed, um, you know, Luffy versus Kizaru. It wasn't the uh, most spectacular fight of all time. It wasn't like a Kaido or like, you know, um, Katakuri or like, you know, Crocodile or something like that. It wasn't like that. Um, Luffy, um, you know, kind of stomped Kizaru, honestly. And uh, he is uh, definitely above an admiral. He is definitely in that Yonko sort of like tier and uh you know and uh you know Kizaru tried his best but like you know he didn't stand a chance against Luffy and uh yeah he tried his best but like you know it um it didn't work out so uh, yeah and then Luffy versus Saint Saturn I would probably put on the same sort of tier because they're uh, they're both fighting Luffy at the same time and uh, Luffy you know is way stronger than you know Saint Saturn and uh, you know he was like dealing with both of them and it was just like bro Luffy is so strong that he's dealing with a uh, admiral and also a Gorosei member that is insane um, which is like you know crazy like Luffy is definitely a Yonko um, you know um, at Yonko Cal um, he's not as strong as like, um, you know, Big Mom or Kaido or even Shanks, but he's definitely up there. And uh, yeah. Now, if you um, now if I you know skipped over any characters that Luffy you know fought, um, you know put that in the comment section down below. And I know Blackbeard's not on this list, but I don't think Luffy's actually fought Blackbeard. Um, you know, um, one on one, he did have an encounter with Blackbeard in Impul Down, but he actually didn't fight him. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's why Blackbeard's not on the list. And the same thing goes with uh, Akainu or like Aokiji. Um, you know, Luffy did fight them at Marine Fort, but he didn't actually, like, you know, actually, like, you know, fight them one-on-one. -on -one. He, he fought a lot of people at, you know, Marine Fort, and it was kind of hard to, like, sort of, like, um, put those characters in, because there were more encounters than actual fights. So, yeah, that's why I didn't put in, um, you know, um, you know, I only put in, um, you know, Luffy's fights that he actually fought the person, and he actually, like, either won or he lost. So, uh, yeah. But that is my tier list when it comes to Luffy's fights. Um, how would you structure this uh, tier list? What is your favorite fight um, you know, in One Piece when it comes to Luffy versus, um, you know, in, in, in Luffy's fights? Put in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. And have an awesome day.